Hey guys, it's Rhea here with today's message from the heart. And these are all just heart images from Mother Earth and messages also channeled from Mother Earth. And the, the uh, meaning of these cards is to help us to tune in to our heart energy. And our heart is one with Mother Earth because we are all one in our connection to source, love and light and Mother Earth is a representative of us and our being. So as we become in alignment to our own heart, that also reflects in Mother Earth. So these images are just a focal point for the day to help clear away any blockages that might be preventing us from, you know, tuning in or tapping into that inner guidance, inner wisdom, inner peace. So I shuffled and this, this card here popped out and it is a rock on the side of the road um, kind of embedded in, in Mother Earth in the dirt a little bit, and you can see it. It's got some kind of dead plants surrounding it. Oh, this cute little, uh, this kind of stands out to me, these cute little rocks in the corner here. And the message of this card is entitled, Get Real. You must get real with yourself before you can lead the life you really desire. This calls for an inner focus by peeling back the layers and getting in touch with your heart. So this card is um, just kind of reaffirming, um, t saying what I just said, that we gotta peel back the layers, uh, clear the blockages in order to hear our heart because it is our heart center where we're the most, <clears throat> where we get the most pure information, the most pure connection to our God source, our higher self, God, Jesus, whatever that form of the highest, uh, energy vibration is to us and this is just saying you got to get real with yourself and in order to get real with yourself you got to kind of get rid of all the stuff that isn't even you parts of you that aren't yours just stuff that you might have accumulated by the conditioning of the outside world thinking you need to take a certain path do a certain thing go through certain steps and you might find yourself after following that path that you don't even enjoy it. It's not even who you are. The job that you're doing, you can't stand, or the place that you live doesn't feel like it's a reflection of you. Now, your outside world always reflects the energy you're operating in. It, the universe always gives you or mirrors back the energy you are operating in or feeling. So when you look at your outside world and it doesn't feel like you, then you most likely are not operating in your truest, um, the truest form of energy vibration frequency that you are. You're not following your heart, basically. So if you hate your job, we'll say, why did I take this job to begin with? What led me on this path? And it might have been just a series of expectations that were set by you or society or your parents or school or education that you thought you needed to do to get to where you wanted to go. And there's never any loss in anything that you do that you don't like because it simply teaches you what you do like, who you are. Say you're at a desk job and you're at a computer. You thought that was the path you were supposed to take and you decided, hey, I hate this. I hate sitting at a desk all day. I need more movement. I need one more one-on-one -on -one communication with others. That's okay, because you know what? It helped you to discover yourself. It helped you to bring you to the real you. And. This card is really just saying, hey, if you're not happy where you're at, let it go. Don't pretend anymore. Don't let those layers tra um, cloud who you really are, your, your real light. Don't let the life you're living, the situation you may be in, the relationships you may be in, the place you may be in, cloud you. Let it serve you by helping you to acknowledge, hey, this isn't who I am. I'm gonna take this layer off. I'm leaving this place and I'm gonna go find out where I wanna be or a job I wanna do or whatever, or the person I wanna be. You might find yourself just living the person you don't wanna be. Again, it all comes back down to in here. If you're not living the person you wanna be, it is gonna show up in your job, your relationships, your home, where you live, all of it. All of it is such a gift to let you know where you stand in alignment to the real you, which is always found in, within. 
The outside world is always just a reflection to find that real you, to discover that real you, to decide what you want and don't want. And everything serves its purpose. It's all good. It's all to bring us to the self-discovery of who we are, the real us, which is God's source energy. So this is just saying, hey, get real. You might even find yourself responding in ways you think you're supposed to respond when people ask you a question or, hey, how you doing? Or falling into those little societal paradigms, those little societal uh, conditioning where you think you need to be a certain way. You think you need to act a certain way. You think you need to dress a certain way. This card is just saying, be real. And how do you know you're being real? It feels good. It feels liberating. It feels free. And that's how you gauge. You gauge by your emotion and your feelings. Those are compasses to let you know, are you tuning into your heart energy? Because the heart energy always feels good. It feels good when you are being the real authentic you, when you are expressing the real you. When you're not expressing the real you, it feels like this. You're kind of like caged in. You are, um, you don't feel free. You feel like you're living by somebody else's so you're wearing somebody else's clothes. You're thinking somebody else's thoughts. You're doing. You're performing somebody else's actions. That's all. But it's all good. It's all a blessing to get us back to where we are, and never, ever, ever feel it's too late to be you, to do you, to be real, because you are an eternal being, and time is just an illusion, and. All of that. Death is an illusion. You have eternity to express the real you. And you never come to the end because the real you is God's source and it's always expanding. It's always growing. It's always shedding more light. It's always becoming more. So it never ends. It's all, every moment is a beautiful reflection of where you are in the moment and choosing whether that's where you want to stay or not. Keep on expanding. And when I picked this card today, I was trying to find the right lighting and I went over there and all my cards fell everywhere and this one kind of stood up. So I just want to hit on this one briefly and it's a beautiful, I love this one. It was on the beach, an old orchard and it's just beautiful. I was just out on the beach in this beautiful formation, formation of a sand in the shape of a heart on this beautiful like amberish, orangish um, rock. And it's just beautiful because it's just, I can't believe the way it just formed perfectly. And I'm just going to go over it real quick because I think it kind of goes with this card. This card is saying, be real, get rid of the layers. But this card is saying, make room. So I'll just read it real quick. The enti It's entitled, make room. And it says, there is freedom and not knowing what you want or what to do. Because then you allow space for all and an opportunity to manifest. Think less, feel more. Enjoy the stillness of the new for there is much happening behind the scenes. So this card is really beautiful because so sometimes when you come to a point in your life where you gotta get real, you realize you're dissatisfied with whatever it is, but then you think, but I have nowhere else to go. I don't know what else to do. This card is telling us that is a beautiful place to be. It's okay not to know exactly what you want through your mind because if you've been living in your mind and you've been following a path through programming, you're not probably going to know immediately. It takes time to tune in to living life from the feeling, from the heart. And it's okay to say, hey, I surrender. I have no idea what path I'm supposed to be on. I know I don't want to be on the path I am. I've been on and I don't want to continue on that path. It's okay to surrender to your higher self, your spirit, your heart and say, I don't know what to do. Because then you create, at least you create a space for communication to begin for new energy to flow because at least you're stopping the programming up here, tuning into here and whatever you're supposed to do from the heart will present itself moment by moment by moment. And how you know what that is, you don't need to know from a mind's point of view, but from a feeling, if it feels good, if it feels right, if it feels peaceful, it will even feel peaceful in it. Like it says, a stillness kind of way, just settling into, um, you know when you're kind of like in the no zone, <laughs> like you're just totally one with spirit or outside or mother earth and there's just a stillness and that's saying that's a good spot to be because that's where you should trust 
the information to flow. The information will flow when you need it. You don't need to have all the answers. You don't need to know what's around the next bend. You just need to know where you are now and tuning into your heart will create the next bend of the, the greatest joy, peace, and fulfillment. And this little orange heart is like tuning into your, um, the second chakra. I can't even think of what it is, but it's orange. It's the creative energy source, not the solar plexus. Uh, I can't even think of the name, but it's, you know, this color and it's orange and it's letting you know to, when you tune into your heart, from here you tune into your heart your own creative energies will flow you will give birth it is the creation it's the giving birth it's the uh, uterus it's all of that you will give birth to that which is in your heart through stillness and through grounding to your heart energy and so that's what these go good so when you're releasing and letting go of everything you're not going to have all the answers just trust in the energy of the heart and that in the moment you don't need to project into the future with the mind because it's being taken care of things are being taken care of behind the scenes through the universal energies of what you're tuning into then it'll orchestrate that which you most need next for your for your greatest good your greatest pleasure excitement happiness so the message is today get real Tune into your heart. So how you can fo find a focal point for today is just listen to your heart. And if you're doing something today that really doesn't bring you joy, ask yourself, how can I get real with myself with this situation? What am I not hearing from my heart to get real and to emanate an energy and a vibration that projects, mirrors, reflects back the truer, more authentic me? And then, Because that will produce happiness. All right, guys, hopefully this message you got a little something out of just saying get real with yourself. And then this one is just saying it's okay not to know what exactly it is, but getting rid of the layers. All these little, it's almost like shredding these little dead pieces, letting them go. As you let them go, you'll see this little new growth. There's a hint of green here. I don't know if you guys see that. But when you let go and shed that which you don't need to expose your heart, it's almost like this little heart was covered with stuff and now it's like falling away, the dried grass, but you prevent new, you have new ones and you also have new connections and abundance above you as you move forward in discovering who you are. See how this stands out nice and white? To me, that represents purity, spirit world. Even this looks like it's in a little shape of a heart. To me, it represents your guides, your angels, um, those that have passed on, loved ones that want to help you to raise your vibration, to get a more pure connection with who you are, which is strong, it's courageous, it's brave. And then you'll be feeling a little more like this, not quite, this represents a little bit of, you're strong, but you got a little bit of heaviness. See, it seems a little darker, but as you tune in and get real and shed by letting those help guide you, then you turn into a little bit more lively creation, creating more lively um, heart energy that you are in your life. All right, guys, thanks for listening and have an awesome day.